The Xbox Full Screen Experience or FSE gives you a handheld or console gaming UI on your Windows PC or PC handheld. With better controls, sometimes better performance and your home app and games always launching in full screen. So here's how to set it up. It's Robin B360. First we're going to set up your gaming home app. To do so, just go down here and go to your Windows settings. By the way, feel free to pause the video at any time to go at this at your own pace. But let's continue. On this screen, go down to Gaming and then go to Full Screen Experience. In the drop down menu, under Set Your Home App, select the Xbox app. By doing so, you can enable the full screen experience right here. Now you have the option to enter the Xbox full screen experience through the game bar or task view. And if you want to turn this off, just go back to the full screen experience and select none. There is also an option called enter full screen experience on startup. When this is enabled, your device will launch directly into FSE as soon as you log in. This also boosts performance by preventing Windows from loading background processes that aren't needed while using FSE. Also, a nice little bonus is that you can access all your games from different platforms in the Xbox full screen experience, like Steam games, Epic games and more. So how do you enter and exit the full screen experience? Well, after you've enabled FSZ, you can enter it in several ways. Through the game bar, through the settings cog, through task view or by pressing Windows key and F11 simultaneously. If you've turned on the option to enter FSC at startup, Windows will always boot into it automatically. To return to your Windows desktop while using FSC, you can use the game bar settings or task view. Or on touch devices, you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen to open up task view. And you can exit FSC anytime by pressing Windows key and F11. If the enter full screen experience on startup setting is enabled and you return to FSE after using the desktop, Windows may ask if you want to restart your device to apply performance optimizations. But you can also choose to restart or continue without doing so. But how do you navigate between the apps in FSE? Simply swipe up from the bottom of the screen. Use the left stick or the shoulder buttons on your controller to move through open apps. If your home app supports it, you can also access your game library directly through the library button in Game Bar. And to manage your startup apps, you can do the following. When enter full screen experience at startup is turned on, apps will only launch automatically the first time you switch to the desktop. This helps improve battery life, enhance performance while gaming and reduces your device's startup time. If you want to change this behavior for certain apps, go to Windows settings and then on the left right here go to apps and then go to startup. From here you can set each app to either start at login so it even runs in the Xbox full screen experience or to turn it off so it doesn't run when switching to the desktop. And lastly, if this video was helpful to you and you want to help me out, drop a like and consider subscribing because that would be super helpful. Then click right here to watch the next video. See you there.